what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel since you all enjoyed my weekend or week in the life of massive surgery i figured i'd do something similar this time around so why don't you go ahead and follow me on another day of vascular surgery So the very first thing I did when I got in was change, of course. And then I broke the mask that I was wearing when I got in here, so I had to get a new mask. But also we have to get these temperature checks every morning. They scan your forehead, make sure you are not febrile, make sure you don't have any new symptoms, then you get a little sticker on your badge and a fresh new mask every day, which is cool, I guess. But yeah, I got a fresh new mask, temperature check, I met all requirements to continue to work today. Um, COVID is actually picking up in North Carolina right now, so we're being extra cautious right now. And uh, yeah, changed, got this. About to go see my first patient and consent them for the procedure today. We have three lower extremity angiograms today, possible intervention, so possible angioplasty, possible stent, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll take you along for the ride as usual. All right, so we did our first case of the day, which was a nice runoff study. Um, did a few little angioplasty, all that good stuff. Used some of these balloons back here. I don't know if you guys can see. And yeah, on to case number two, which is very similar. Um, kind of lower extremity, long-term clodicant, long-term chronic limb ischemia. And we're going to try to open up some of those vessels in the lower or distal leg, and we'll see what happens. So it's time for round two. So it is Sona's going away party, and kind of like my going away party too, but it's mostly Sona's going away party, and she is an IR nurse here, and arguably the best nurse I've ever worked with in my entire life. There's just sometimes you have nurses who just have your back for everything. It's hard to really explain, but when you work with a good nurse who kind of just makes your life easier as a resident, it it's something else and yeah, so Sona is one of the IR nurses. She has done so much for me and made my life so easy the last four years that I'm going to be very sad that we don't get to work together anymore. But best of luck to you, Sona. I know you're going to crush it at whatever you do. And hopefully I'll find someone as good as you in my next couple jobs. And as for me, I'm officially done with today. I did three lower extremity runoff cases so, which means I got femoral access on two of the cases, went up and around. Oh wait, I take that back. One case, I got ipsilateral common femoral access, shot an angiogram. It was such bad disease that we couldn't really do anything, so we got out of dodge. The second case, we got contralateral femoral access, went up and around the bifurcation, brought it down, treated some of the distal runoff vessels that were stenotic, opened some things up a little bit, get some good flow to the feet, Third case, we did a little different. We got retrograde pedal access, went up to the anterior tibial artery and opened up the AT and the popliteal arteries. And now the patient has good runoff to the toes as well. So, pretty good day altogether. Had a little goodbye celebration for Sona and wish her all the best. Now I'm going to go home, take care of all the odds and ends of moving stuff renter's insurance, getting rid of cars. I still have to sell my car, get rid of the car insurance. And I think I have to 
film tomorrow. We're doing like this kind of interview video for upcoming residents or interviewing residents. So I'm going to be filming a whole bunch of things tomorrow with some of my co-residents. So that's what I did today. And we'll see what happens later today or tomorrow. And good morning. It's 5 a.m. It's pouring down rain. And I'm going back in the hospital to do our vascular surgery around. So I'm in clinic all day today. I haven't done vascular clinic ever before. So we'll see how that goes. It's pretty high volume. So I'll keep you posted. Now we're currently doing some video work for the resident tour. Coming soon to anybody who applies here. <laughs> so like I said before, I'm doing this video to kind of help out the recruiting class coming in or the next year's radiology class. Uh, a lot of the med students won't be able to interview the normal fashion where they come to our department and see the whole hospital with their own eyes. So we're putting together kind of like a fun video for them to look at for any of the applicants that get chosen to interview with us. So it should be something fun and interesting. And Tirith is going crazy on it. <laughs> and we are back at it. It is currently Friday. I'm still on vascular surgery, so last day of the week. We uh, don't have too much scheduled today. I think I'm just rounding super early as usual. And then we have, I think we have lecture right after that. All right, so like I said before I saw one of my friends and stopped talking outside, it's Friday now. Currently on vascular surgery still. Rounding super early. And today, I don't really have that much planned. I think the only thing we have today are a few OR cases. And I don't do OR cases anymore because I'm not a surgeon. I do only endovascular cases when on vascular surgery. Today is a pretty light day, honestly. I think I'll probably round right now, come back down to IR and do some cases in IR because I have to keep my skills a little fresh. And then I'll probably get a early jump start on the weekend because I have a lot of stuff to do, like sell the remaining stuff in my apartment. And then also I'll give you all an empty apartment tour if you want me to. And we'll go from there. So we'll see how this Friday goes. I'll keep you posted. I know I didn't really talk much yesterday. We got super busy. The vascular clinic, you see like 50, 60 patients sometimes between a couple people. So it can be pretty busy to say the least. But all right, I'm gonna go around now. done with rounds for the morning. I'm gonna go home and, oh, look at this view. What a beautiful view. It's beautiful. All right, I'm done. I broke my mask. One of my straps came off. So I have to get a new N95 mask. And then I'm gonna do some IR procedures and see what time I will leave today. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what I get myself into today. All right, so since I'm on Vastra, I wanna show you all the endographs we use. So give me a sec right here. Let me dump these out here. All right, so this is what a fenestrated aortic endograft looks like. This goes in the aorta. It's what we pop open and stent with. This is also a branched aortic endograft. As you can tell here, it has these little branch stents which go in the celiac SMA right and left renal arteries. So it's actually pretty big and that gives you a sense of how big the aorta actually is. These are pretty flexible and can be deployed. They come in usually like a 22 French sheath or so. And yeah, this is what one looks like. Blood flows through there and out these branch stents. So now you know what an aortic endograft looks like in hand. These are really expensive, so we don't usually have examples to look at. So here you go. And just like that, we are done with today. Got out early, which is a plus, which also means I can enjoy this beautiful day 
And since my pool is now open, I can actually go hang out at the pool. Maybe get a little tan and also go work out. And that's pretty much it. So that pretty much concludes this entire day and the last few days. Hope you all enjoyed some of these random style vlogs. I don't know, some people were commenting saying they like to see what I do on a daily basis. And I only have a week left at my hospital, so I figured I'd get some filming in before I leave. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, I'll see you all, as always, on the next video.